Hi, this is Ashwini and welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be discussing our roadmap for Java backend developer. So if you're having a time of one to two years, then, then just go for this roadmap. Okay. Otherwise, if you're looking for some shortcut, uh, many videos on YouTube, just like become a backend developer or full stack developer in 30 days. Uh, I'm really sorry about it. This video is not for you. Okay. You can leave it. If you're having a much time, like minimum time of six months, then you can go for this uh, roadmap. Okay. So with that waste time, let me start this video. So who can just uh, do this roadmap? If you are having experience of one year, if you are in a college, uh, just go for it. Okay, because I have covered a lot of things in it, whatever the, my experiences as a backend developer. So you will found everything in here. Okay, so I am having a 3.5 year of experience and still I believe like a lot of things. I'm not expertise in it. So let's see. Backend developer, you have to learn a uh, language Java. We are just exploring this roadmap with Java language. So uh, this language you can learn in your college. You just have to master some advanced concept. So how if you want to start with the language, okay? So how would you start with the language? Just go for a fundamental, okay? Learn the some fundamentals. In fundamentals, I will give you the some uh, like what thing you need to learn. Just basic syntax, fine loop just learn a uh, announce loop uh, very uh, frequently or you can master that because it will be using uh, more frequently as compared to the for loop and all exception handling uh, this is a main important thing which you have to learn okay in exception handling when you are just working with a project or in development you need to handle your custom exception if you are in a college you don't know about the con uh, like a uh, custom exception and all they those are the like framework kind of things okay when you are working uh, with the uh, spring boot and all you will found these things frequently in your project you are handling a custom hand uh, like custom exception channel okay so here uh, you have to learn a uh, exception handling uh, very in detail okay now data type variables you are starting one language you have to learn it and functions obviously in function you are learning then run a uh, recursion also because it will help you to solve uh, solve your uh, graph and tree problems but we are not using a graph and all in tree uh, or graph tree in development and all don't worry about it but you have to learn it correction framework this is a most 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 very 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 important thing just go for it okay and learn how many times you want to learn it because in your whole development career you are using this okay now go to some advanced concepts just like if you want to become a java full stack developer okay then go for it if you want to a backend developer with some framework then i will suggest you can leave it doesn't problem okay now let's suppose you want to uh, like everything in your hand you don't want to be uh, like okay i don't know i don't have a advanced knowledge i only uh, be, uh, learn a code our developer i think you are believing that you have to learn all these things okay and uh, so for what what you have to do advanced java just learn a sublet because and this is very very important uh, in a few minutes ago i told you uh, just leave it uh, let me change my sentence don't leave it okay because sublet is very very important when we are going to the frameworks and all uh, i am covering here a spring framework so every framework of java framework just like struct or your uh, spring spring boot all these frameworks are built on top of your sublet so if you are like tended to become a java developer you have to go in sublet okay and do some like 10 to 15 program 50 program in sublet make some application just basic application library management and all with the help of like core java sublet jsp jdbc once you finish all this topic so just now look for the some alternative how could you just uh, reduce your boilerplate code in jdbc just go for a hibernate framework so what is a hibernate hibernate is in just jdbc framework whatever you are just writing a query again and again just it make your work simple and easy so that's why it's a jdbc framework you can go for a, a like a hybrid or like say hibernate framework okay so two things we cover just learn your fundamentals learn your advanced java now come to the build tool okay what is a build tool is just just like an you can say just uh, you have put something on a cloud and you have to fetch them again and again uh, you don't want to communicate and again just someone uh, fetch a thing for you uh, just by the one command that's called a build tool okay if you want a detailed video just let me know i will cover in some videos okay uh, let's come to the build tool uh, these are the three important build tools which you will find in your development career that is maven aunt and gradle but most of the time you will found a 90 percent the people using uh maven okay 
and gradle if you are uh, planning to uh, become an android developer first or going for an android developer course you will find gradle there okay because android is working on a gradle Okay, nothing complex both of these three uh, build tool are same okay you can cover it by one go you just learn one thing like learn maven and you can cover these all these uh, build tool okay learn one and just apply the knowledge all in all these three uh, type of build tool now you learn a build tool okay i just complete uh i just uh, put a jdbc here because if you are not going for advanced java okay if you are not going for advanced java just uh, having a basic knowledge of sublet but i will recommend you just learn a sublet because why i am seeing this again and again because this is very important so let's suppose by any chance you miss your advanced java so i would recommend you just learn a basic sublet and jdbc okay because this is very important when you are communicating to your databases and all and without communicating a database you don't have any knowledge so just uh, with jdbc learn your mysql so if i say mysql so that's it that's why because that's a different part of the development that's why i have not put it here if i say jdbc so you can learn a mysql as well okay just keep this in mind you know uh, learn a mysql as well okay uh, because you are having a much knowledge about a mysql because uh, a dedicated uh, chapter in engineering it is there uh, just like an uh, dbms so you learn everything like normalization and uh we can normalization and db about a query and all you can like transaction management ambiguity and asset property you learn in your uh, graduation if you are not from engineering background then do not worry about it just let me know in the comment section i will sur i will suggest you some courses you can learn a uh, dbms concept in one go do not worry about it okay so this is a complete video of roadmap that's why i'm not attaching a resources here if you want me to attach our resources for all these roadmap whatever we are covering here just let me know in the comment section okay web frameworks so i am now i believe you have learned fundamental you have learned advanced java now build tool also you have completed jdbc with mysql you have completed now so for your understanding let me write here mysql okay uh, jdbc and mysql you have to complete it okay so whenever you are just referring to their roadmap you should not uh, like confuse whatever ashwini shared in a video you don't need to watch the video again and again web framework just go for a spring uh, framework and in spring framework just go for a core okay i have completed this thing in spring uh, roadmap video uh, if you uh, want just check the description and you will find that uh, roadmap link okay so first you will cover here in web framework you should cover a spring framework core module a uh, very specifically then go for a spring data jpa jdbc again uh, this is a different body in spring okay where you will read a uh, jdbc template and all and orm and aop okay these things you have to read so uh, if you do not uh, want to refer that video so let me add uh, something for you that is core module okay now it's fine okay so whenever you are referring to the this just say you have to say core module and spring data jpa jdbc orm aop you need to read this i have mentioned very very important topic here so do not try to leave uh, anything from this roadmap if you want to be a good developer otherwise just whatever you want to leave just leave it <laughs> okay now come to the logging framework if you do not have a uh, idea about it this is very bad because in spring whatever you uh, you if you are a uh, like one year or two year experience you have noticed in our project we have just put a one liner uh, at an instance level that is a default framework sls 4j which spring provided but uh, sometime like uh, uh, six months ago there is a uh, vulnerability in log 4j we need to just resolve that for that we just change some packages and all so for all those detail when you are just changing a package and whenever you are just migrating your application from log 4j to slf 4j you need to have all these knowledge of logging framework i hope this is getting and this is making a clear sense what i am saying right and logging is a very very important when your application going on a production you need to check your logs we are not doing that sys out and sys out in a production environment so logging is very very important if you are having experience of fresher you are like uh, minimum experience when you are fresher you not have idea about it but as soon as you become a like experienced developer you will know what i am saying testing when you are just learn all these things fundamentals advanced java uh, now you can feel like actually now i become a complete developer why should i need a testing okay now 
when you are writing a, your a code we will test that you only test that in your unit testing okay and the unit testing will help you in very very different accepts okay it's not about a uh, unit testing when you are doing a regression or adding something in your code unit testing will help you okay to understand each and everything for unit testing you can learn a two framework that is j unit and test engine very famous one okay not a test engine you can just learn a j unit test engine is just like some automation tool but you can just learn what is a test engine integrated testing you can just rest assured and jmeter jmeter is just like in for putting a load and all okay you can just leave that but i'm just mentioning here because you should have that thing in mind like jmeter because hota hai, okay you don't be blank okay what is a jmeter so mocking framework if you are going for a unit testing uh in today's world people not doing a single unit testing here we are using all unit testing or with a mocking framework okay you should learn these mocking framework just like mocking easy mock and wire mock so uh, frequently 90% cases we are using mockito okay and there's a some uh, we can say that uh, disadvantage of using that not disadvantage uh, uh, what is the exact word uh, we can say that uh, there are some uh, drawback what is the drawback is um, in private method for private method you can't test it because they will not available in your whatever you are doing a mocking and all so that for overcome all these things we are using easy mock and wire mock okay so i hope you are aware of all these things uh now or you are aware of now all these things what is the you need to cover in your java roadmap so if you have any query any kind of thing just let me know in the comment section or if you have something other roadmap to cover me uh just let me know commission i will do that okay now uh just do not leave anything from here if you thought okay actually uh let me leave this build tools and all these things all will use in your development career if you leave and don't tell me after that i you give the wrong roadmap okay <laughs> okay uh, yeah i will see you in the next video uh till then take care and bye bye